Hi, I'm Frank Besednyak with your ACA training tip. I recently asked the following question on a LinkedIn online forum. If I were to perform a training needs assessment for all HVAC service professionals, what would you say is the one skill that needs improvement, training, or learning more than anything else? The responses included things like critical thinking, soft skills, diagnostics, work ethics, listening, communication, asking for payment, paperwork, empathy, attitude, and much more. Every one of these are important, and I was very pleased with the overwhelming response and great comments. Since we are well on our way into 2012, it is still not too late to put together a training needs assessment in your business. It's not a very complicated process. Simply complete the following sentence. If I had the ability to improve one thing in regard to the performance of my team, employees, and staff, it is blank. Just fill it in. Once you have determined what that is, do some research and figure out a way to get the training or resources to make it happen. When the issue or challenge is resolved, ask the question again and take on the next need. I know you're probably saying, sure, Frank. That may sound simple, but knowing for sure what type of training to use and whether or not it will really fix the problem, that's the real question. Okay, so let's say for example you have several employees who have difficulty completing their paperwork properly. First of all, they need to know that their performance in this area does not meet the requirements that are expected. So many times managers are unwilling to bring problems to the attention of their team members and expect that having a general meeting or sending out a memo to everyone will resolve the issue. This may get some response, but it is really not a long-term fix. What needs to be done is to take the bull by the horns and handle it. If it is one person, tell them it isn't acceptable and needs to be resolved. Many times just making the person aware of the problem and letting them know you're watching is enough to get the issue resolved or performance problem under control. By the way, we still haven't determined if this is a real training need or is it a motivational need. I remember quite a few years ago when I was working with a training consultant and he said, and I quote, if you hold a gun to someone's head and they can perform, it is not a training need, it is a motivational need. Now, I don't really recommend using firearms as a method to determine training needs, but I do recommend that the real issue or problem is determined because it may not be from a lack of know-how, it may be something else. I believe there are only five possible reasons why an employee does not perform well, and they are, number one, the employee has no idea what is expected, number two, lack of training or knowledge, number three, a non-work-related problem is distracting them, and number four, employee is not suited for the job. Number five, they just perform poorly in everything and maybe they just don't really care. The specific area that needs attention can only be determined by a real one-on-one -on -one meeting and by observing the person while he or she is performing their tasks. I'm sure there'll be plenty of people there wanting to say, Frank, what about this? What about that? Really? Think about it. Everything will fit into one of these five. If you disagree, email me and we'll discuss it. So you want to have more information on how to handle each one of these five? Sorry, but you'll have to check into our next program to get these answers. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.